hey what's going on you guys welcome to another video and today we're gonna cover a story that's pretty horrific and graphic before i start i'm gonna tell you guys that viewer discretion is advised so if you have somebody that being on social media you've seen people do content where they travel all over the world and there's people that do these type of travels where they go to the nice places you know the landmarks the hotels the beaches and also you have people that go into the dangerous areas right i'm from haiti i've seen content creators do content where they go to haiti and they talk to the gangs and stuff like that and there's a risk when it comes to doing that type of content and i'm pretty sure these guys do the research they talk to guides and stuff like that but what i didn't know was that there are women I don't know how many, but I've seen a YouTube channel and the content that she posts is her traveling on a motorcycle all over Africa. Now, I don't know if she specifically, well, now she doesn't only do Africa. She basically travels all over the world and show uh, different places. But the whole thing is just her as a woman traveling alone all over the world. I was shocked. I'm like, why is this woman out here driving by herself? in these dangerous places and uh that's part of her content too she uh post content of her getting into it with police officers trying to bribe her uh she post content of her driving on roads that's basically destroyed done is instant she also shows the locals you know what i'm saying that she doesn't do only bad she, she doesn't only show the bad side uh of the place that she travels she also shows the you know beautiful places the nice locals but yeah that's a thing so uh this is her channel right here ichi boots and uh man, some of the some of the stuff that she posts is scary. Um, as a woman, you know what I'm saying? People see you as a lick, they see you, you know what I'm saying, as an easy a target, but when you're traveling by yourself like that. But I think that she knows her stuff, and like I said, she has like a ton of content that she posts of her just traveling by herself in these different places. And the story we are covering today is uh, a couple that do the same thing. This is the channel right here around the world, Vicente uh, E. Fernanda. I believe uh, they are a Spanish and Brazilian couple. And this is the channel right here. Things uh, did not go well for the both of them. Sadly, the couple were assaulted, beaten, and the woman was uh, awkward by eight men in India. I don't, I don't know if they were careless. I'm not going to blame them for what happened to them. Obviously, it's not their fault. But it should be obvious when you are traveling to a foreign country, you got to do your research. You got to know how things go over there. You got to know how they treat foreigners. You got to know um, what places to go to. You got to know where the, where, where the gang activities is more heavy. These are things that you have to know when you are going to different countries that I don't know if they did that, or maybe they have been doing this type of stuff for so long that they think they just can get away with it. But, but this story is currently going viral. Um, this is an article on the daily mail. It says, uh, we thought we were going to die. Spanish influencer gang R in India while motorcycling around the world reveals how the seven men beat her and her husband spin with bike helmets and rocks during terrifying attack. Travel influencer Fernanda, 28, and Vicente, 63, were attacked while in India. Fernanda said she thought she was going to die. So far, just three of the seven attackers have been arrested. So, strike number one, you are a woman, and this is her, by the way. This is her and her husband. You are 28, and your husband is 63. I mean, he looks in shape, but come on, man. Like, no, nothing, no pepper spray, taser, uh, a knife. This man cannot fight off seven men. I'm sorry. Uh, he looks in shape. He looks, you know what I'm saying, to have his wits. But you're not going to fight off seven men. Uh, I don't know why she thought this was a good idea. Let me keep going, man, before I uh, give uh, more of my opinion. A Spanish influencer who was gang R in India during a global motorcycling tour has revealed that she and her partner thought they were going to die during the attack. Fernanda, 28, and Vicente, 63, have 300,000 followers online where they have been documenting their journey around the world on a motorbike. The couple who were making their way to Nepal from India on separate motorcycles reportedly stopped for the night at Dumka district in India's Jokhan 
setting up camp in a makeshift tent before a group of seven men, Gang R, Fernanda, and severely beat Vicente. So these two are traveling around the world on a motorbike. And again, this is the bike that they are traveling on. Now, I don't know what the the area that they stopped at. I'm, I'm going to bet that this bike stood out like a sore thumb. This is the bike in the background. It's a nice looking bike, clean. Uh, the luggage is look nice. They stood out. And they decided to make camp in the woods. They did not stop at a hotel. What were they thinking? Again, I'm not blaming them. I got to make sure that you guys get this point. I'm not blaming neither of these two for what happened to them. But come on. And again, too, at nighttime, too. It wasn't daytime or afternoon. They decided to pull off somewhere to make camp in the woods nighttime. Like nobody, nobody watching. Breaking down in a video film at a hospital in India, Vicente revealed the injuries they suffered, saying his mouth was destroyed after the attackers used a helmet and a stone to beat him. Fernanda, who is a dual citizen of Spain and Brazil, said in a video posted to her Instagram page, my face looked like this, but it's not why it hurts me the most. I thought we were going to die. Thank God we are alive. And also another thing, something tells me that she's the leader in this whole thing. And this guy probably is funding her trip. Obviously, he's older, so probably got more money. But as a man... Why would you allow your wife to talk to you into setting up camp in a foreign country in the woods? Knowing you ain't got no gun on you, you ain't got no knife, pepper spray, taser, or nothing. Fernanda, who was seen with visible bruises on her face, said, They trashed us and robbed us, but their main aim was to arm me. Vicente said that he had also been brutally trashed, adding, They put a knife around my neck and told me that they would kill me. I'm sorry, I would have just crashed out. You gotta you gotta take me out. I do not see how as a man I'm gonna just stand by and watch you arm my wife. Even when I arm my throat, I'm hey, I'm 63. I live a long life. Well, that's still young, but still, you gotta take me out. I'm not gonna stand there and not do anything. I mean, I'm not saying he do <sighs> he probably tried, or maybe trying to talk well. They don't even speak the language. I'm saying at least come on, man. This 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 I don't know. As a man, I don't know how would I've, I would be able to live with myself after this happened to me. Watching seven dirty bastards take advantage of my wife. If you, you just got to sit my throat. I'm sorry. Take me out. She added that they had approached the police for help, but later said that she was made to take down the video from her page so as not to disturb the police's investigation. The police told me to turn off the post so as not to disturb the investigation. I will post it later. She said in an Instagram story post, Fernanda told a Spanish broadcaster that the attack lasted for two hours and each of the men took turns. This is, oh my God. Horrible. Horrible. Like I said, man, I think she's she talked him into doing this. Like, what were you thinking? Oh, it's, it would be a good idea, you know what I'm saying? So we can be in touch with nature, blah, blah, blah. Find a hotel. If you don't have a hotel... Look at the time. If you see that it's too late and you're not going to make the... What are you using GPS? If you see that you're not going to make the trip to whatever destination you're going to, find a place with a hotel and stay there. Put a, a chair behind your door. Uh, only eat food that's uh, come in a container. Uh, they are me. They took turns while some watched and they stayed like that for about two hours. She said on Sunday. Despite the terrible injuries she suffered, Fernanda said... Fernanda said she would not stop until her attackers had been brought to justice. She wrote an Instagram story posted to her personal account. I will teach everyone that it takes for justice to be done. Nobody knows as about what I'm going through, so I'll know how to act. By the way, now I'm not familiar with India and its history, but I've seen plenty of videos that shows me that they do not treat women well over there. One example is... A video went, well, it didn't go viral, but it, it was posted on different pages where a Japanese tourist, right? I think she's an influencer. She went to India and they were having a festival where they threw all these uh, color and powder and stuff. And this is what happened to this young girl. Now, keep in mind, this is broad daylight in public. And they thought that there was nothing wrong with what they did to this poor girl. Look at this.
So you got this young girl by herself. I think she was by herself, surrounded by a bunch of looks like teenagers, early twenties, and they just they saw that there was a girl there. I think she was the the only woman there, and they decided to throw stuff at her, grab her, grope her all over the place, and nobody stopped it. I just arrived in Bangladesh. I'm really sorry that I didn't know it was a serious situation. I am finding mind and body. I will explain more tomorrow. A Japanese woman tourist had to leave India after facing one of the most traumatic times of her life. I, I'm not going to keep showing you guys this. This is crazy. What I'm saying, like India and women, uh, they, don't, they, they don't have a, a really good track record uh, when it comes to women. I've seen some wild videos of people doing street interviews when they ask the men, who do you blame if women get R word? Uh, and she was wearing some outfit. There's a, a it's her fault for wearing the outfit. So far, three of the attackers have appeared in court, while police in India are st are still hunting down for other suspects. Although to be age between 20 and 30, in connection with the violent assault, according to the Telegraph, the couple were in court and were given just 9,500 euro as compensation for the troubles by Indian authorities. I don't know if they did this for social media because she probably thought it was a good idea to go and set camp in the woods and be with nature, the grass. By the way, are there like tigers and anacondas and stuff in, in these places? It's just a bad idea altogether. Is this a tame place? Don't they have like wild animals running around this place? This is what I have to say. I think this was her idea. Her husband, 63 years old, he's just going along. He's probably happy that he has a beautiful woman. I mean, it sounds like a dream, you know what I'm saying? Traveling the world with a beautiful wife. But he should have put his foot down and said, you know what? I don't think it's a good idea. I understand you want to catch footage for Instagram and YouTube. We need to go at a hotel, an expensive hotel. Well, not expensive, but a, a good looking hotel where they have doors and stuff. And windows and a telephone and electricity to set camp. I don't think this is a good idea for us to go and set camp in the woods. We don't know the locals. We don't speak the language. We don't have any weapons. I can't defend you. I'm 63. I'm old. I, I, can, I can't defend you if you get attacked. I mean, I hope they both seek therapy. I don't know how she's going to look at him after that. Uh, as a man, like, I would feel as a failure if my wife get taken advantage by seven minutes i just stood there and forced to watch this is just terrible man this is, this is a sad story um what do you guys think uh leave your comments down below and um i'll see y'all on next one